In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update the Divi theme. It's a manual update, doesn't happen automatically. I'm going to show you step by step how to update the theme when there are updates and how to do it safely so you have as little downtime as possible when you're making these updates. And we're getting started right now. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here and you like WordPress and you like learning hacks and tricks and all kinds of stuff to help you get better at it, hit subscribe, then hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start this WordPress tutorial. I'll see you there. To update most themes, all you have to do, as you know, is go to Appearance and then Themes and then hover over the theme, click on Theme Details, and there will be an Update button to update it. However, the Divi theme, as we can see here, has a new version available. We click on Theme Details, it says New Version Details, and it says Automatic Update is unavailable for this theme, which means we have to do it manually. But how do you do it manually? This is how. So we go into our Elegant Themes membership area. If you don't have one, you probably wouldn't have Divi theme. If you do have one, log in and come here. If you, if you want to get Divi theme, there's a link down below where you can go and check out more details about it, watch some of my other videos about it. Maybe you'll really enjoy using Divi like I do and go ahead and get it. Either way, you come in here, you look for Divi, you click on download, downloads to our hard drive as a zip file. Now what we want to do, go into our cPanel, Go into File Manager, you can do this via FTP as well, if you want to do it that way. Go to public underscore HTML, WP Content, Themes, and this is our outdated Divi theme right here. Now the way I like to do this is I keep the outdated one on the site and I upload the new one right now. So I'm going to go to Upload and I'm going to find this zip file on my computer, drag and drop it onto the upload area into the dash box and it uploads. Once it's at 100%, you can just close out of here, reload this page. We now see our Divi theme right here. What I'd like to do now is actually put this into another folder. I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm just gonna call it Divi Temp. Because if I unzip this, I don't want it to be the same folder name as the regular Divi one and maybe overwrite it. it Cause all kinds of complications. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it into here Go in the Divi temp, extract it. There might also be a bunch of other files that we don't want to deal with, that we don't need inside our themes folder. After it's extracted, we reload. And we see we have Divi here, and it is the same name as the other one. So it's a good thing we put it in here. So I'm gonna call this Divi-new, delete the zip, move this one up one level to the themes folder, Come back out here, delete Divi temp, that folder we just created. Now we have our old theme and our new theme. What I'm gonna do really quick, so there's a, as little downtime as possible, I'm gonna rename the old one to just dash old, rename the new one to just Divi, and now our theme is updated. If we go into manage themes, I'm just gonna refresh this page and our update message or new version available message should be gone because our theme is up to date. Now we got our theme is up to date. We currently have two of them. As you can see, one of them is gonna be the old one. So this is 3.0.98, and this one is 3.0.29. So this is the old one, which is seen here as, or seen here as Divi old. What I usually do is I keep this on here for a little while. I just play around on the website. I make sure nothing's broken. And then if nothing's broken, I come back in here eventually after a few days maybe and delete the Divi old. And then we have our Divi updated safely with as little downtime as possible. So that's all there is to it. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.